uh, welcome to this improver slash beginner point bar. I know it's had a slightly different time to normal, it's normally on a Monday, um, but I'm going to be away for a few days, so I'm pre-recording this so that um, my ballet coach members have something to watch at the normal time. So let's get started, I hope you've got your point shoes on. Uh, as always, this class is more beneficial if you've done a bit of a warm-up beforehand, so like a normal ballet bar, just in your soft shoes. Um, but if you haven't, don't worry, we're going to do a short warm-up in our point shoes. So, let's have feet in parallel, and you're going to want to find a bar. It doesn't have to be a ballet bar, it could be a chair or a countertop. You want it to be roughly waist-height. Um, and if you don't have something waist tight, it's better to go for something that's slightly too tall than something slightly too low. So if it's too low, you're going to be craning down the chin and it's going to affect your posture to reach down and point. So let's start with feet in parallel, backs so of the legs engaged, ab nice and strong, shoulders down and neck long. As always, we have the wonderful music by Nate Fifield. And today we're going to listen to his album from uh, Hollywood Hits Volume 4. So let's start with our warm up. We have feet in parallel and we have pony trot. So we go up and rise, switch and rise. You're trying to stay over the big toe and the second toe. We've just got four of these. Then we do the same with a bend. Down, knee going directly over your toes and up. No rolling and up. This is to stretch the Achilles. And last one. Then we're going to roll through the feet. So we bend, lift the heels, rise up. Make sure there's no rolling out onto the baby toes. You're staying firmly on that big toe and second toe. Squeezing the glutes, holding your abs, making sure you're not leaning backwards as well. Then we're going to roll back down and then we reverse this. So we go up onto point, bend the knees slightly, ever so slightly, knees over toes. And then roll through the shoe, we open up to the first position. In first, we're going to tundu front, push over the shoe, point, carry to the side, big lunge, stretch the top of the foot to the back. You might need to let go of the bar here to push over the foot and the demi plie. Same with the other leg, so leading with the heel in that tundu, push over the shoe, the foot's on point here and you're stretching the top of the foot. Carry to the side, stretch over the top of the foot, and right behind you, hips are square, and close demi plie. We're going to start with the right arm, side stretch, shoulders are down, neck is long. We're going to pivot the back foot inwards, and stretch forwards for a hamstring stretch. If this position is a little confusing, sometimes it can be uh, on, well, if you're following a video, you can just push your leg backwards and reach forwards with a flat back until you feel a hamstring stretch, yeah? But if you do want to follow after our side bend, it's going to be the back leg that pivots in. And then we do the same on the, with the other arm. Side stretch, long neck, shoulders down, pivot that back leg into parallel fourth, press the heels into the floor, get a little calf stretch here too, and roll back up feet into parallel. Starting with the right foot, you're going to bring it over the front. Both knees are facing forward, so you're going to bend that back knee. I'll show you. Bend that back knee into your calf muscle and stretch the top of the foot that's pointed. And again, always over the big toe and second toe, never on the baby toe. Then we push back into a calf stretch and close. Same on the other leg, so bring it across. Bend, stretch. Hold here for four and push back. And then we're going to plie. Open out the feet, rotating from the hips. Hips are lifted at the front. Plie, releve. Again, no weight on the baby toes, weights on the big toe and second toe. And test your balance. You can choose um, any arms. You could have maybe just one arm off, the other hand holding the bar. You could go for just your index fingers of both hands. For a real challenge, you could have just the baby finger of one hand with the other off, or if you're feeling up to it, both hands off for that balance, and then roll down into a plie. So you don't have to remember any of that, I'm going to do it with you, and I'm going to shout it out as we go along. So feet in parallel, off we go. Three, 
and four, same with a bend. Both bent knees and rise. Two and three and four. Keep the back nice and tall. We roll through the shoe. Up onto point. Lower down gently, going through that demi point. Controlling the movement. We rise up. Little bend over the big toe, heel down. Rotate, squeeze the backs of the legs. Starting with the right foot. Tonju, push. Carry to the side. Point, push. One knee is stretched. Now right behind you. And a demi plie. Switching leg, lead with the heel. Brush the mental tarsals. Stretch over the foot. Carry to the side, lunge, one knee bend, one stays straight, you move the weight across, and onto the back leg, and then you plie. Bring the feet into parallel, starting with the right foot, cross it over, bend and stretch. So I'll just turn so you can see. Pushing back. realise I've missed the side stretch, don't worry, I'll add it. Other foot and stretch. Push back into a calf stretch. Heel in the floor, hips are lifted, feet back to first position. Let's go for our side stretch, up and over. Pivot the legs and stretch. Stay here. Roll up. Left arm. Pivot the back leg. Parallel four. Hips are square. And roll back up. Feet into first. Plie releve, up you go. Strong abs, squeeze the glutes and arms of your choice for your balance. Keep those ankles really still. Rotate the legs, they should be turned out, the weight should be on the big toe and the second toe. And relax down. Good. Okay, we're gonna have a look at some elevators now and some releves as well. keeping the knees straight. So feet in first position, find your posture. We're going to rise up on straight legs, push over the shoe. We're going to go to a demi point, so bring those heels forward, back onto full point. Then we lower down, gently, 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 squeezing those heels together. So naturally the heels are gonna to want to open because it's quite hard to keep your turn out as you lower back down. So squeeze those heels forward underneath you as you lower. And a demi plie. We go up again. One eleve, lower back down, it's quicker this time. And then our releve, plie, turns you the right leg to a small second. I said it before, but we want to keep the second small because when you go up on point, it's wider than when we're on demi point. So we go again. One slow eleve, a demi point, push over the shoes, heels down, demi plie. We have one more eleve. Down, plie, push up, releve, and now we close. Two, fifth. We're going to slide the front foot across. Front foot slides. We lower back down. Now the back foot slides. Slide and lowers back down. Plie, releve, both feet join together. Good. And you're going to swap and lower back down. And then we go the same. So slide that front foot. The rise comes from the back leg here, and the front leg needs to be slightly lighter so that you can slide it across. We do the same with the back leg sliding across, across, I know they're hard, and then a plie over releve, hold, swap the legs. Then we have a balance in fifth. So again, arms of your choice, swap the legs over, 
and relax in a nice big plie. So the hardest part of this exercise is when we work in fifth or third, if that's the position you're working in. You have to rely on the legs, the backs of the legs to do the work, not on gripping the bar and definitely not going up like this. It has to come from, well, backs of the legs and inside thighs, squeezing together and using those strong metatarsals to pull you back up and lower you back down. Okay, let's have a go with the music. Feet in first position. Arches are lifted. Strong abs, strong glutes, test your balance. 
C's next. Okay, so we have right foot front. Find, find your posture. We're going to go fondue front, squeeze susu fifth. Then we go to the side. This is the hardest one because you've still got to keep your turn out. And the leg naturally wants to turn inwards here. So make sure your knee is going over your supporting leg, your supporting foot, and the working leg is turned out. We're going to close front again. So we've gone susu to the front, susu to the side. Uh, and then we have one more susu to the front. Pick up the foot to a coupe and close behind. Then we swap legs, same with the left. Front and squeeze, hold, da, 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 da. side close, front, hold and hold, front, again, hold and hold and up, put it behind. Now we're going to reverse everything. So we're going to take the left leg to the back, back and squeeze, hold and hold, side close behind, hold and hold, one more to the back, pick it up, bring it front, and then we repeat everything with the right leg going from the back. For our balance, we're going to take a balance in a small fourth position. So this is going to give you a chance to find your alignment here, making sure the pelvis isn't tilted forward, so we're really lifted on that front leg. Glutes are squeezing, rib cages on top of hips. The legs are crossed, so we're not here, but those inside thighs are really squeezing and you're pushing over the shoe. And then we'll swap legs so you can take a balance with the other leg front. Okay, so we've got susu front, side close front, front coupe on point, we don't come down for the coupe. Same on the other leg, coupe, put it behind. Then we reverse everything with the left leg, coupe, and then with the right leg from the back. We take our balance and forth. Okay, off we go, right foot front. Heel forward, point, squeeze, hold. Heel forward, close front, hold. To the front, squeeze, hold. And this is a hard bit, up, put it behind. We stay. Left leg, squeeze, hold. Heel forward, close front, and hold. Again, front. We have two slow with the right leg and three are quick. We repeat everything and then we swap legs and then we repeat the whole exercise but with hands off. So I would advise you take them to first. Fifth is even more challenging but if you're not quite ready for either you can have just one hand on the bar or one finger on the bar. Yeah. So with the right leg we go slow, slow and notice how I'm really using the floor as I close, so really resisting um, with the metatarsals pressing into the floor. So we have slow, slow, quick, 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 slow, slow, 
quick, quick, clearly shift the weight. It's left leg, slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. Keep those hips really still. So there's no wiggling, <laughs> plie. Hands off, same again. Slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick, plie. Slow, slow, quick, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick, plie. Then we're going to put the hands back on the bar, plie, roll up, stretch the foot, rise up, and guess what? We have one more balance. Arms of your choice. You can take the arms anywhere you like. Just keep those ankles nice and still. Okay, let's go with our glisse. So glisse, remember, it's only just off the floor. We're not going for a 45 degree jeté hike. Off we go. Arches are lifted. Right leg. Slip. Slip. Quick, quick, quick. Hips are still. Use the glutes. Point shoes off. You might want to do a little demi point stretch. 
You could do a stretch against the wall. Um, and you could also take like a tennis ball or a spiky ball and just roll out the plantar fascia uh, just to help those feet unwind. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our bar today and apologies for it not being at its normal time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I hope to see you back at our normal time next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.